I remember so well parenting my son by myself and having my own way of doing it. Some of it maybe wasn't great, but I did my best. But we kind of, we had our own little system. And then of course he would go and spend time with his father, with my ex. And it was so hard for my son because there, there was completely different set of expectations, different behaviors from the adults. And to be honest, it was, it was really confusing for him. And I would often get back a little boy who was all at odds with himself. Uh, he was full of really big emotions that he, there was no way he could manage them. And so sometimes the kind of reconnection with me, which would often be on a Sunday evening, would be, it would rip my heart out. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk about it for those of you who go through this on a regular basis. Maybe you're raising your children by yourself and then they go and spend time with the absent parents that might be dad or mum, and they come back and it's really difficult to get them settled back in again and you know you may even question yourself and think you know is this harming my child because here i don't use consequences i don't praise them and reward them i just really connect with them at an emotional level i and i lose use lots of compassion and yet when they go there it's completely different and you know should I be doing the same as them? Should I be trying to persuade my ex to do what I'm doing? So in my personal experience, but also this is something I, I very often work with professionally, the most important thing, and this is kind of for life in general really, is to focus on you and what can you do? Because if you are grounded, if you show up pretty much the same way every time for your child and you have a similar little reconnecting ritual. So my son and I established one. Uh, we had a, a book that he loved and pretty much that's what we do once he got back and you know maybe he needed a drink or something. And then we would just sit and we would read this book and that was our way of kind of joining ourselves back together again. And then that wasn't magic because in the week he might suddenly start talking in a very different way to me using words that he would never often use or phrases he might criticize me all sorts of things which of course again was no way was that his fault so i had to really hold that space i had to be very emotionally grounded which i didn't always do perfectly but i had to really focus on checking myself and reminding myself that a what i was doing because he spent the majority of time with me was going to be what stayed with him the most and that it was a a very valuable kind of um you know like like light and dark it, it was very powerful and if it felt more familiar to him which of course it did because he'd mostly been raised by me to be treated with respect and compassion then that's what he would be used to and that's that's what he would eventually slip back into so the key points in this are to really focus on yourself try not to get too distracted and dragged into Oh, but I must make my ex stop doing this or doing that. Now, of course, if it's anything to do with safeguarding and keeping your child physically and emotionally safe, then, you know, there's a whole process and procedure to follow around that. But if it's just that your, your heart is getting ripped out because there is such a different system there, then try and focus in on yourself. Try and really make it about how grounded you're able to be and this lovely emotional connection you can keep on giving to your child until they feel settled and safe with you once again. And I apologize for the chicken that seems to be in some distress down over the back as I'm up in the mountains of Morocco at the moment. So just focus on yourself, focus on what you can do, what you can deliver and your child and then you know, just slowly unpack if they want to unpack how they feel, but try not to get pulled into too much ranting and anger and frustration about what happens when your child goes away to your ex. Focus in on what happens when they are with you.